on the internet. And here we go with today's show and we're taking out the island hopper out of 79th street boat ramp and you guys know that lately in florida the weather been pretty crazy it has been cold hot windy rainy flooding everything is happening but we kind of snuck away from mother nature and found a little gap and now we made it to the water and today's one of those days that no matter what i wasn't planning on staying home also and it is spring break that the weather should be warming up but yet the water is still cold and talking about spring break we have been having a lot of activities like checking out different beaches and checking out pool parties and now today we're cruising around checking out the miami boating scene so sit back relax and enjoy the show Short crew, the crew's getting smaller and smaller. It's all good though. We, we made it. We made it to the water. You guys made it to the water. So. Mama going with show, baby. You no, know, the day is super windy today. But you know, it is the weekend. That means you gotta go on the water. On the water. We're gonna meet up with some friends and uh, let's see where they're at. Cause we made it kind of late to uh, the ramp, but luckily we found a spot. It's all good, baby. All good in the hood. Look right there. And today we're meeting up with Jerry from Reliable Marine and Gustavo from Alamar, Miami. And we're heading north on the intercoastal waterways towards Hallover. Now, we don't know if we're gonna go to Beer Can or Hallover Sandbar. I guess we'll see and find out. And talking about Reliable Marine, you call them up to get an estimate or get a service done make sure you mention fresco channel and right now we're going under 125th bell harbor bridge And we have decided to head over to Raccoon Island, aka Beerkin Island. And here is has become a very hot spot for charters and big yachts. And a lot of them come here to hang out during the day. And it makes it an ideal spot because this whole area is no wake zones. And that makes it perfect to relax and have a few drinks and don't have to worry about being spilled over by people cruising by making weights. And it could get very entertaining if you like people watching. Like me, the only thing is I record and share with you guys what I see from the boats to the people and seeing what they're doing. And that is the entertaining part, especially when I catch somebody doing something funny like this guy that tried to impress the lady by doing an Olympic backflip okay guys so let's play judge what do you guys give him I give him a negative one plus a little bit of aloe because I know he's burning And like I said, Spur Island or Raccoon Island or like everybody knows it, Beerkin Island has become a very popular spot for yachting. But now we're going to try to find an opening at Beerkin Island to pull up. And today it looks pretty full from kayakers to boaters. And this gives me the perfect opportunity to answer the question that why is there always so many kayaks at Beerkin Island aka Raccoon Island. And the answer is easy because right across the bay it's Olita River Park and they have a kayak rental there. Yo, 
always awesome to see friends at Birken Island. And we got lucky we found a spot that all three boats fit. And Beer Current Island has a few new rules and one of them is you cannot camp overnight at the island anymore. Now the question is, are people going to stop because they've been camping here over many years? Also there's a lot of people not aware of this too. Look what we have here. We forgot the sausages, bro. But the next best thing right here, churrasquito. That's, a, that's even better. That's even better, right? Yo. No. Thank you, thank you, man. Courtesy of Archie. You can't go wrong with Sandbar Life. Everybody has a great attitude of sharing food, having a good time, and having fun in the sun. That's what Sandbar Life is all about, baby. But I get Tamo con Santi and his daughter. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Having fun in the sun here. And look, look, look at this cute thing right here. Look at this. <laughs> that was a cute little dog it reminded me of yuli and that actually reminded me of my friends from the islands let's go find out and see where the raccoons are at and do you guys remember george well i found out that it's a girl so i guess we have to name her georgina let's see if she's here Well, there's only two here. I wonder where the rest of the posse is. Maybe they're on spring break themselves because they're right across from the FIU campus. And like you can see the island is pretty occupied and busy. It's always awesome and a pleasure to meet the people that watch the channel. Thank you so much for the love and support. And let's keep watching and remember, share it with your friends. And the day is getting more interesting as it goes by. Look at this cool Corvette on the water. These Corvettes are pretty cool, but I've seen it before. But this is something that i only seen at the boat show. Finally, I see it out on the water for the first time being in use. These are diesel ox engines. And the cool part about these motors are that these are normally ran inboards, but these are shaped to be outboards. Yeah.
no, no sé. Well guys, have been an awesome day here at Raccoon Island, aka Birken Island. But you know what? I didn't see the rest of the raccoons. I wonder what happened. Maybe today they're being precautious since there's so many people at the island. Well, maybe next time we'll catch up with Georgina and see how she's doing. And to me, she's the coolest raccoon I ever met. And once you guys see her, you'll figure out because she walks different and sits different. And she's the chillest because it seems like nothing bothers her. And it has been an awesome pleasure hanging out with friends and fans here at Birken Island today having fun in the sun and doing more people watching but the day's not over from here we're gonna move over to all over sandbar